And welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. You got heard yesterday on the radio that old Carly Simon song, uh, Nobody Does It Better from one of the James Bond films. That could be the theme for Tenova Healthcare. Um, first class team of doctors and team members, uh, facilities all over East Tennessee, Tenova Healthcare. How much do I trust them? I trust them with my life. That's how much I trust the Noah Health here. <laughs> right over here. Welcome back to the show. I'm not testing you. I'm not trusting you with my life yet. But I know you, <laughs> I we're, getting close. we're getting close. <laughs> Mark Pankratz, former Vol <laughs> assistant under Bruce Pearl and under Conzo Martin. And let me put up a stat here. We'll, we'll race through this. Let me show you a stat from yesterday's game. Uh, I think I can sum up what happened in the game yes. yesterday with one stat. There's your three point percentage uh, for each team. Auburn, 46% from three point range. Tennessee, 10%, 3 of 28. Now, if you're 10%, 1 of 10, that's bad enough. Hey, we finished strong, though. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, you're th was there anything else to this game, or can you you want to sum it up? That's it. What else stood out well, to you? Well, it is. You get outscored by 27 points in, in one part of the game. It, there's the difference. Um, and especially because that was Auburn's scouting report. Auburn, Coach Pearl's known, uh, when you're looking at Tennessee, don't let them beat you from three. Force yeah. those guys to get in and try to score over their big guys. Force their post players to try to score around the basket. Uh, and we got caught up with some bad early three-point shots, um, and it became contagious. And then Schofield gets blocked early or misses a bunny early, and so we just start forcing more threes. And uh, we still scored 40 points in the paint, which um, was a good thing. But if, if you're going to shoot that many three-pointers, you got to make more than 10% if you, gotta, if you want to win a road game. I thought coaching was the difference because clearly Rick Barnes has been coaching them to miss three-pointers. Oh, he's to coach them to hit three-pointers. And it's because Coach Pearl stands up on the sidelines, but Coach Barnes sits, sits down. down. That's, right. the, big, that's, that's the big key. Uh, let me uh, get your guys' take on the, the game yesterday. Um, you, go to, you, you actually played pretty well. I mean, you go on the road in the SEC. Auburn probably has a little bit more talent than you do at this point. Neither team has been gangbusters or lights out so far. You come within six on the road. You're shooting that cold. And I don't think that's anything to cry too much over. I think yeah. that's a team that you should beat when they come here to Knoxville. Yeah, I would think so too. I think one thing you look at is Armani Moore and De Devin Balkman. Those are two of your senior leaders. Three points between them. You know, I know Moore gives you a lot rebounding yeah. and, and handling the basketball and stuff like that. But got to have more offense from those guys. Yeah, I kept thinking about what Dane Bradshaw likes to say is sometimes we want that guy taking that shot. Yeah. You know, we encourage him, go ahead and take that shot. I mean, at some point when you're one, wasn't it one for 20 on threes? At some point, don't you say, let's try something else for a while? Well, well and, and to your point, this time of year, the scouting report's getting better. So you're watching the, the opposing teams are not guarding our perimeter, our post players. Yeah. So they're wide open for a reason. Um, but also they got to find ways to score, whether it's crashing the rebounds and getting 23 offensive rebounds, which is a positive. But the other thing about Armani Moore is defensively you can't be exposed. You, 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 if you're not going to score, you got to be a positive in some other aspect of the game. And as Coach Barnes talked about, he gave up the first eight points of the start, start of the second half. Can't happen. If you're not going to score, you got to contribute on the other end. Let me give a quick quote here from Bruce Pearl. Very quick here. Uh, Bruce Pearl said, before the game, Tennessee fired me. That speaks for itself, so it is a game that matters. I have a great affection for Tennessee and for their fans and for what we did with Tennessee basketball. I could say, no, it doesn't mean anything more to me. The Alabama game means more. It's a rival. The Kentucky game means more. They're the best program in our league. The Tennessee game means a little bit more. They did fire me. It's something that's just the truth, and I'm glad that Bruce Pearl is telling the truth. Uh, <laughs> my feeling there is... If you're going to act contrite and say, I'm, I made the mistake, you can't then come back and show the spite. Tennessee didn't fire him because he wasn't winning games. Tennessee fired him because he got Tennessee on probation. They also gave him a million dollar check after they fired him with cause, which to me is the, that's the worst thing that Mike Hamilton ever did. Th thanks for getting our program in trouble. Here's a million dollars as a parting gift. Uh, yes or no, am I, the only, am I taking this wrong? Or if you've been through this, you're, you probably shouldn't whine that you got fired when you're the one that kind of pulled the pin on the grenade. I'm guessing Bruce probably knows that. I think he's, I mean, he's a basketball coach. Mark, you probably know uh, these, they like to put out their version of the truth doesn't matter. It's whatever is self-serving at the moment. I think Bruce probably figured, you know, this can serve us to kind of provide added motivation in this one particular game. He knows that he So no problem up. with it. I mean, it's disingenuous, but it's Bruce Pearl. I mean, I have a problem, do? yes or no? Sir? I have a problem with it, yes. Okay. Um, 
I wonder, last year he came up here and, That's and exactly. talked about the VFL stuff. Yeah. I wonder if he didn't say that for the Auburn people. I, bet he, exactly. caught, I yep. bet he caught some heat from Auburn for being so pro-Vol, oh, and yeah. that's a way to come back and say, oh, I, I love the Vols, but they did fire me, so it's special. That mm -hmm. could have been it. All right, guys. Uh, Mark, you'll be back with us a little later. Uh, when we come back, we're, we still got to talk about uh, Doug Atkins with a very special guest. But when we come back, we're going to race through some questions. These guys give an answer. I tell them why they're wrong. Come on. <laughs>